Okay, in this video, we're going to set up a virtual environment and sort of uh, set up our little development environment to start writing code. So anytime you do any sort of Python project, you want to create a virtual environment specifically for that project. And what a virtual environment does is it creates a little walled garden around your project, which allows you to install different things into that virtual environment, different versions of software that you might need, different libraries or modules or anything at all you need to install for your project will be contained in that little virtual environment. And this is great because it allows you to have lots of different projects on your computer and to have the, the stuff that you need installed for each project contained just in that project and not messing around with other projects you may work on on your computer. So it allows you to keep different versions of different things separate from each other per different project that you're working on. And it's really great. It's just really a programming best practice. And to create a virtual environment with Python is super easy. It comes with something called VEMV, V-E-N-V, which stands for a virtual environment. We just sort of set it up and turn it on and it works. So I've opened up the Git Bash terminal. And when I type PWD, I can see that I'm in my C drive in the users directory slash codemy. Now it's codemy here and it also says codemy right here because that's my Windows logged in username. Whatever your logged in username is will be listed there. And that's fine. It doesn't have to be codemy, right? Whatever yours is called is just fine. So the first thing we need to do is create a directory where we want to hold all of the, the files and things for our project. And we use the mkdir command to do that. It stands for make directory. Now I want to put this in my C drive. So it's forward slash C forward slash. And then we could just make up any name to name this directory. So this is Excel stuff. So I'm going to call this Excel uh, dash Python. So that's what we're going to be doing, Excel and Python stuff. So, okay, that has been created. Now we need to move into that directory. And to do that, we use the CD command, stands for change directory. And we just then type that directory. So C forward slash Excel dash Python. Now I just started to type Excel and then I hit the tab key on my keyboard and it auto figured out what I wanted and it put it there. So now we can hit enter and boom, we're now in that directory. And you can see it listed right there. Or we could type in the PWD command to make sure, sure enough, we are in the correct directory, C slash Excel Python. So, okay, so far so good. Let me clear the screen here. So this is where we're gonna create all of our stuff in this directory. We're gonna save all of our files there and we're gonna run all of our, our files from here. So now all we need to do is create a virtual environment. And to do that, we type in Python dash M, V E N V, and then we just name our virtual environment. I'm gonna call mine vert. Uh, the shorter the word, the better, and you'll see why in a minute. Now, if you're on a Mac or a Linux, try typing Python 3-vim, just like this, Python 3-m-vim-vert. That's if you're on Mac or Linux. Uh, otherwise, for Windows users, just do this. So now we can type in ls to list the stuff in our directory, and now we'll see this new vert directory, because we that's what we called it right here. And this will hold all of our virtual environment stuff. Right? We don't ever really need to go into that directory. We just need to know it's there. So that means VEMV, B -E -M -V, virtual environment has been installed. Now we need to turn it on. And to turn it on, we just come down here and type in source and then vert slash scripts, capital S slash activate. Right? And boom, when we do that, you see now it says vert above our command prompt. That means our virtual environment has been turned on. Now, if you're on a Mac or a Linux, I think the command is source, uh, maybe vert slash bin slash activate, something like that. If that's not it, send me a message and I'll dig into it deeper, but I think that's what it is. I don't have my Mac handy, it's in the other room. And man, it's, it's way over there. So <laughs> I think that's the command, uh, it should be fine. So, okay, so now we can see we clear the screen, this vert means our, our virtual environment has been turned on. Now we can turn it off by typing in deactivate. And when we do, you see now this vert thing is gone above our command prompt, right? So we don't want that. We want it always to be on when we're working on our project. So I can hit the up arrow key a few times to cycle through the last few commands. We can go back to this source vert scripts activate command, hit enter, and boom, our virtual environment has now been turned on. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. That's all we have to do to create our virtual environment. In the next video, we will jump right in and start looking at OpenPy Excel, which is the library that's going to allow us to connect our Python code to our Excel files 
and that'll be in the next video.